Hello, my friends. Bless you all, and welcome back to DaveDWilliamson.com. Well, that's right. Google's got their G-men out with their machine guns in their hands, and this time they're after Facebook. So you see, Google's trying to reclaim their social media presence by using their search engine to entice you and I to join the Google Plus community. But more importantly, what's in this blog post for you, and how can you benefit right this minute? I'm going to show you a proven method that I stumbled across actually by accident just recently that you can apply immediately to get your blog posts on the first page of Google using Google Plus. But first I'm going to cover some important points about your Google Plus profile. So let's go to screen share. Okay my friends here we are on live screenshot and we are at Google Plus and a few important things about your profile I want to cover before I get to the nitty gritty of how to get on the first page of Google using Google Plus, okay? Um, first thing we're gonna do is click on profile. Okay, now as you notice, we have a profile picture here. Your profile picture will show up right here in a very dominant position, okay? Now, the profile picture is 250 pixels by 250 pixels. You can change that by clicking on change profile picture and upload your picture. Okay, very simple. Now, let's go back over here to these five photos. You have the option over here to display five individual photos, which will be 110 pixels by 110 pixels apiece, or you can change this to a cover photo, actually like Facebook. And I will show you mine. Here is my cover photo, okay? Now, the only difference between Facebook and Google Plus is that Google Plus actually allows you to have call to actions on the cover photo. This is very powerful. So I highly recommend using the cover photo feature here. And uh, incidentally, if you want to know how to make a cover photo for free, leave me a comment at the bottom of this post. And I will address that in my next post, how to do that completely free, 3D, uh, visual, the whole nine yards. As you notice, I have a call to action here, add me to your circles. Now I'm logged in, so that button's not going to show here. but when you are looking at my profile, you're going to see add me to circles here, add to circles. And this call to action will pick up a lot of people to your circles and have that add you. You can build relationships and bring them into your business. So this is a very powerful cover photo feature here to have. Now with Facebook's cover photo, you are not allowed to have call to actions or arrows pointing to like or any of that kind of stuff. I have a Facebook post that explains the timeline and how to do a free cover photo in 3D and the whole nine yards at DaveDWilliamson.com. Just scroll down through the post and you will see uh, the Facebook post there. Just want to let you know that you do have the two options of either having the cover photo here or the five photos. Okay, now if you have a cover photo, the photo has to be 940 by 180 pixels. Okay, so get it closest to that size as you can. Otherwise, it's going to end up distorted in here when you upload it. So let's click OK there. And let's cover something else here on circles. Because circles seems to be a very primary function, a very effective function in Google Plus for you to add friends and distinguish different types of friends. For example, I have friends here and then I have social media. Okay, now if you want to change these two, all you have to do is come right down here to circles, click on circles, and just simply drag the circle to the position you want it. In other words, if I want uh, family, which I have no family in here yet, but I'll just show you for an example. If I want family as the first attribute in my tab, I'm going to drag it over here, and then just say I want social media as number two, I'm going to drag it right here. Okay. Now let me show you the results from this. Okay, we're going to click on home, and as you can see, I have family and social media. Let me give you one more example of that. Go down here, click on circles, and all you have to do is drag the circle over in over into the order of which you want to show up on the tab. So, following right here. I'm going to grab following, drag it over to the first position. I'm going to go back to home, and there it is, following. That's your first tab. Now, if you want to add more tabs in here, all you have to do is come down here, click on more, drop down box, and just say I want social media. See, there's social media. And if I want to add 
seven-figure networker, they're a seven-figure networker. And that's how you arrange your tabs. I could teach more on the Hangouts or help you more on the Hangouts, how to create a Hangout and how to use them. And there are a few other options in here that I can cover. Just leave me a comment on what you want to know about or what you would like to see a post on. Blow this uh, post here and I will make a post in regards to that subject. Now, here's another little feature you can use right here, add. Okay, now just say I wanted to add uh, one of my favorites, Joe Barnes. She's a social media expert. Um, got a heart of gold. And uh, you can pull her up here and click follow. Of course, now um, I'm already following her, okay? But that's how you would add friends. Now, uh, when you type somebody else in here, uh, let's just try my partner. Mona Elthorpe, there she is. She's got five circles, and I would just click right here to add her to my circles. But she's already in my circle, so Google Plus is going to tell me up here in red that she's already in my circle. So a cool little feature where you can add people to your circles or follow people there. Let's get to the nitty-gritty of why I'm making this post and how it can benefit you. How to get on the first page of Google utilizing Google Plus because as we all know Google Plus has got the machine guns out on Facebook now because Facebook is dominating the social media arena. Let's go over that right now. We'll go over here and log in to DaveDWilliamson.com, my blog, and I'm going to grab some keywords and I'm going to show you how I actually got on the first page of Google Plus or on Google using Google Plus and you can do this too. And what is really good about this is the fact that it takes a couple of days for Google Spiders to find your new post, the keywords in your new post, and index them to get you on that first page of Google. Okay? Now, until then, you can get on the first page by using the power of Google+. Plus, and that's what I'm going to show you right now. So let's go to post. And we need what we need to do here, my friends, is we are going to get the keywords off the post, and I'm going to show you the keywords that I got on the first page with. Now here's a Royalty 7 update post I did. It's a passive income pro program. And what I'm going to do is just come down here and I'm going to grab a keyword. Um, let's use the whole phrase because phrases are the hardest thing to get to use to get on Google Plus first page or Google's first page. Now I'm going to come down here and say, uh, well, let's just select how to invest and make money. Okay. I'm going to copy that. Let's copy that phrase. Now, I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to go to Google search, and I'm going to type in there, or copy, paste in there, how to invest and make money. And I'm going to hit search, okay? Now, you scroll down through here and look, and here I am. Look at this, okay? Now, this is not my blog post, okay? Uh, Google spiders have not found my blog post keywords yet. If you look at this little icon right here, this is a Google Plus icon. My post in Google Plus got me on the first page of Google. I don't know how long you can leverage this technique because I don't know how long Facebook and Google are going to be at war here. Google is trying to uh, regain uh, some of its lost social media that Facebook has actually taken. So they are using their search engine and enticing you to get in and utilize Google Plus, and in return, they are putting you on the first page with the keywords used in your post at Google Plus. Okay, so if I come over to Google Plus, for example, and I typed in here how to invest and make money, okay, and I posted to say a link to my blog post. Because then again, now this is one of my keyword phrases, right? We just went over to keyword phrases. And posted that, within four hours, you're going to be on the first page of Google. And I'm going to tell you, my friends, it don't get any easier than that. Never has it been so easy to get on the first page of Google. And this is all because Google is fighting Facebook to get back some of their social media. So take advantage of this. Now, um, you could do this with any one of these keywords in here, okay? I've got... Uh, how to invest and make money. Um, I've got, uh, let's see here, let's get a new one. Royalty 7, a scam. Now, I don't know if I came up on that one. I don't know if I posted that in, 
in Google Plus as a post. But if I did, over here in Google, I'll paste it in here, it'll come up. Now let's see what comes up here. Search, roll D7, scam. Then there, there again, now that, that is one of my keywords. Here I am right here, look. I came up under that keyword too, first page of Google. Here's my little Google Plus icon. So that shows that I posted this in Google Plus. Let's go try another keyword. Uh, let's try Royalty 7 Reviews. There's one of my keywords from this post. Now we're going to go over here. Paste that into Google Plus or Google. I get it mixed up all the time. Okay, here's Google. Here I am again. 30 results. Look at this. Right here. I posted in Google Plus with that keyword and it came up on the first page of Google. I'm right here. Actually, actually, I got listed before these other ones here. And these other ones are not Google Plus posts. These are individuals. See what this is. This is an individual. Yeah, this is a YouTube video. Look at that. I got on there uh, before uh, YouTube. I accidentally closed the window. I'll paste it in there again. Yeah, I got, I, I'm listed here before the actual YouTube video. That is unbelievable, my friends. Take advantage of this. Here I am again down here. Look at that. Two times on Google+. Plus. This is powerful, my friends. Again, if you make a blog post, just use some of your keywords. Put them in here. Um, I could put the last keyword in here for an example. I would paste Royalty 7 Reviews. Do you need... To read more okay then I put my link right here and then I share it I guarantee you my friends within four hours uh, actually probably within an hour or two them spiders are gonna find this keyword in Google Plus quicker than they're gonna find the keyword in your post and you are gonna end up on the first page of Google this is very important because I'll tell you why I first noticed this when I got over 40 Skype requests in one day People have seen my post and contacted me on how to invest money in Royalty 7. So, very powerful again. Dave D. Williamson, I'm signing out. Apply these tips. Get, get on it right now, my friends. Start bringing more people into your business. Start building relationships. I love you all. Bless you all. Toodaloo.